once upon a time in the world of, of decentralized finance, a new development was brewing but had the entire crypto community buzzing uh, with excitement. Uniswap Labs, the, the brilliant minds behind um, the, the popular Uniswap decentralized exchange, were planning to introduce something groundbreaking in their upcoming Uniswap v4. Um, but what was it exactly? Uh, we were started circulating debates ignited in social media platforms became a battleground for the speculation. Everyone was eager to know what this mysterious addition to Uniswap v4 would be. And then amidst the chaos, question emerged. Could the introduction of hooks in the Uniswap v4 be the beginning of censorship? Uh, one user on the social media platform, let's call it X, claimed to have insider information. They shared screenshots and revealed that Uniswap v4 would bring know your customer verifications. Uh, the user argued that this move hinted uh, at the exchange's uh, potential shift toward more centralized and regulated practices. Uh, as the discussions unfolded, more details emerged. It seemed that Uniswap Labs also had plans to use a permission required off-chain server on Uniswap X, uh, another platform they were developing. Uh, this server would enhance performance. Uh, but it left some users concerned about the direction Uniswap was heading. Uh, uh, Uniswap X, an open source solution, aimed to uh, enable permissionless uh, and open trading across automated market makers or AMMs and other liquidity sources. It was still in its testing phase on Ethereum mainnet, but its potential impact was already generating excitement. A lot of the community generally embraced these developments. The Kurigan platform X remained skeptical. Uh, they argued that the identity verification requirement on hooks would initially be optional, but might eventually become mandatory. This raised concerns about the potential erosion of the decentralized nature of Uniswap. Uh, and what exactly were hooks? There were programmable extensions and allowed developers to customize pool and trade behavior on Uniswap. These extensions would be tightly integrated with Uniswap's core and protocol, making it easier for developers to implement features such as dynamic fees, on-chain limit orders, and enhanced customization. Furthermore, hooks would enable Uniswap v4 to integrate other protocols opening up new possibilities for the decentralized finance ecosystem. Uh, Uniswap's journey had been a remarkable one. Uh, since its first version went live in late 2018, it had continuously evolved and it introduced new features. Uh, Uniswap v1 revolutionized decentralized finance uh, by introducing AMM, uh, which empowered liquidity providers uh, to play a crucial role in market making. In Uniswap v3, the exchange introduced concentrated liquidity, allowing liquidity providers to specify a price range for providing liquidity. This improved pricing for traders while increasing liquidity depth. And Uniswap v2, LPs provided liquidity across the entire price range of the token pair, offering even more opportunities for trading. Uh, despite the criticism surrounding the potential censorship concerns, Hooks garnered support from some quarters. Uh, one user acknowledged that Hooks could amplify the value proposition of certain protocols, turning them into uh, real DeFi platforms. Another commentator even boldly claimed that Hooks would do more for real DeFi uh, than anyone else had ever done. Uh, and so the debate raged on with the crypto community eagerly awaiting the unveiling of Uniswap v4 and its revolutionary hooks. Only time would tell what impact this innovation would have uh, on the world of decentralized finance. And now a short joke to lighten the mood. Um, why did the blockchain go to the art gallery? To get some blockchain inspiration. With that said, thanks for reading and until next time.